my name is Brittany Roderick with RamblinRec.com, and I'm here with Junior Libero, Nikki Meyer. Nikki, last time you were here, last time we talked to you, you had just won the Libero spot. It was the beginning of the season. You had a lot of exciting looks for what the season could be. So overall, how do you think you guys have done so far? It's crazy to realize that we're already almost through second rounds of ACCs, and so much has happened since then. So we've had some injuries, but we've also had some younger people really step up, and it's just, it's really cool to just see everyone kind of fitting into their role and like we're just getting to know each other as a team and I think we're doing pretty well. We have come out pretty strong this second round. So, so far so good. So far so good. Well, Libero is an integral part of any team, but I don't think they get enough acknowledgement for how job you're, for hard, how hard your job is. So, um, how has it been being the Yellow Jacket Libero? It's I wanted this job, I wanted the pressure, and that's what it is. You start off every single play, the first contact, which is so important, because if you mess it up, then like no one else can really do anything else with the ball either. So it's I've just kind of learned to embrace that pressure and like want the ball and like want to start off the play right. So it's just been a whole mind change for me like since my freshman year, and it's actually been working out really well. What has been the hardest part, you think? Just taking on like that role and knowing that like the pressure is on me to start the like start the play, and if I can't do it, then like we're not going to be able to do anything. So. Have you ever had a weak moment where you try and not give in to the pressure, but sometimes it happens? Yeah, it's that moment when you get aced, and then you know they're coming right back at you, and you just have to like sit there and be like, okay, no, like we're not going to play this game. I'm going to get this next pass, and that's <laughs> like the hardest part. Well, even with all the pressure on them this weekend, the Yellow Jackets thrived and beat both Boston College and Maryland on their home courts. How do you think the weekend went? It was good. It was We beat both teams in four, and we were pretty steady. We finished really strong. The last two games against Maryland were very, very strong, and it was just it's nice to like start to feel us getting into a rhythm because we're really going to need that for these next seven matches or five matches. Oh my god, <laughs> five matches, because it's a strong push for the end of the season. It is. Individually, you had 25 digs and nine assists. Mm -hmm. So how challenging is it to be consistent, and especially this weekend, knowing you had to get the two wins? It's just, that's like the position, and Tanya told me the day that I like got the spot that like your job is consistency and it's to be steady and like there if there's any like fluctuations like with players like it cannot be the libero like that's like the one position where steadiness is the key so I just know that like that's my job and that's like been my main focus. Both Ivana Kolak and Jennifer Percy had very good offensive mm -hmm. weekends so do you think they're finally getting the confidence they need to play at the next level being a sophomore for both of them? I think they are I think it's been like I said like everyone's just have been having these mental changes and I think they both realize that we need them as part of the offense we need to have a more balanced offense and they've really like taken that to heart and like really focused on it and they've done a really nice job. This Thursday, the Lady Jackets are heading to North Carolina for their last, say it again, last road match weekend of the <laughs> ACC season where they play UNC on Friday night and then NC State on Sunday. So having lost to both of them earlier in the season, how critical is it to extend your winning streak? It is, it's everything at this point because we're down to the wire and the NCAA tournament is our goal and like we know to achieve our goal like these teams are like where it starts like it starts now and like all season we've been like you know like we still have a lot of season left like we don't anymore so we know like it's time right now and last time we played them they were so close like within points both of them so we know like we're right there we just have to like we just have to finish and that's where we're at right now. UNC is currently ranked above you and only has four losses in ACC play. Mm -hmm. So what has the focus been on this week in practice for them? It's just, I mean, it's just about finishing because that's like where we keep running into our issues. It's like we'll get to 20 and then we kind of slow, slow down and like don't finish. And so, and, and that's what happened with Duke. It's what happened with UNC last time. Like we just have to get to 20. We have to finish the last five points and that's where we're going to be successful if we can do that. And everybody also knows that Monique Mead, the right side hitter, is going to be a dominating force and an integral part of how this weekend turns out. So how do you think, what makes her special, and how does she continue to be a consistent dominating force once again when all these teams scout her every weekend? She's just really grown in the sense where she's become very dynamic. She has, she's starting to work on like roll shots and tipping and she's like getting a vision of the other court and not just going up and swinging away every time. There's like always actually like a thought process and it's really working out for her because you can't scout someone who's like learning week by week and she's just done such a good job of like learning how to like play smart and not just play 
unbelievably like slamming into the middle of the court every time because there's right. a double block on her every time. So she's really learning how to use her mind instead of just her ability to put the ball down. So she's doing really well. Well, we all wish you the best of luck this weekend in North Carolina, and thank you so much for talking with us thank today. You. There are only five, as Nikki Meyer said, five volleyball ACC matches left, so stay right here on RamblinRec.com to see how these Lady Jackets finish up the season. See you in O'Keefe.